Welcome to Alternative Kitchen. Hi, Bakers. My name is Lisa, and this is Alternative Kitchen. To all my returning subscribers, I say a big thank you for coming back to watch this video. And to all my new subscribers, I say welcome to the kitchen. Today's recipe, I'm going to be sharing how to make easy homemade biscuits with just flour, sugar, milk, and butter. We all know that the holidays are coming closer, and then kids are going to be home with us. And to keep them entertained, you have to always come up with exciting foods that they will enjoy. The fun part about this is you can have your kids help you in the kitchen to make this because it's not a biscuit that needs so much kneading. It's something that they can easily just pat and make by your side. And then we're going to be using an alternative method, which is using hot sand rather than an oven. So anybody can make this recipe. Let's get right into it. Put on your aprons and let's get baking. Let's make this easy homemade biscuit together, an absolute hit with the kids. Prep all your ingredients beforehand to ensure your baking is seamless. For this recipe, you will need 4 tablespoons of sugar, 2 and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half cup of warm milk, and half cup of melted butter. Ensure you line your pot of sand with a parchment paper or an old newspaper. Into a clean bowl, Pour in your flour and then you go in with your melted butter. Ensure your melted butter has cooled down before you add it in and leave a little bit of your flour just in case you need more flour. And then we're going to mix this up just with your fingertips. We just want to mix it a little, get all the butter incorporated and then we'll add a little more flour just to ensure that we get that crumbly consistency. This is the consistency we're going for, like fine sand. If you haven't gotten this consistency yet, go ahead and add more flour to the mix until you get this crumbly fine sand consistency. Next, I'm going to add uh, sugar to the warm milk and mix everything together until I'm certain everything has dissolved. This is to ensure that the sugar dissolves on time. I'll turn a little bit of the milk into a flour and butter mixture and then I'll add the rest because I know that I still need a little more milk. The goal is to gently mix everything together. Do not overwork it. Do not over knead it. Just mix everything gently together. Once there are no dry pieces left, you can transfer to your flat board or countertop. And now this is the fun part where kids can help you with. They just have to help you pat. You are not kneading, we're just patting and patting. And then you divide into two, stack on top and you keep patting again. Before you get to the stage of patting, if you want to add colors, to your batter you can go ahead and add colors just pour in one tablespoon of your choosing color into your milk and sugar and stir together before you turn it into your flour mix as for how many times you're going to cut and stack do this five times and i'll keep patting until i am sure that it is at least an inch thick which is what i'm doing measuring with my finger now that I've gotten that one inch thickness, I'm going to go in with my cutter. I'm using a heart shape because we want it to be fun for kids. There are other cutters that you can use. And then I'm going to keep cutting and I'll keep patting until I've gotten the amount I want. Remember, we're not kneading, we're just patting. This is why it is such a fun activity for kids. All they have to do is pat. No hard work and you can supervise them while they do this. They just keep patting and keep cutting until all your dough is exhausted the nigerian in me will not allow any dough go to waste which is why i am squeezing in the leftover dough into the cutter to make one final heart shaped biscuit now i'm going to add a pan with finely dusted flour into my pot of hot sand it is already preheated into this pan i'll keep adding and rearranging the pieces of my biscuits just to make sure there's room for all of them and to ensure none touches the edge of the pan now i'll cover my pot and allow this bake for 10 to 12 minutes and that's it your homemade biscuits is ready you see very easy to make you don't need too many utensils you don't need a rolling pin 
all you need is your hand to pat down and decorate with a dusting of icing or with sprinkles just make it fun for the kids to enjoy what a fun activity that is yummy healthy and engaging no eggs no rolling pin no mess and no over and that is how you make easy homemade biscuits that your kids would love and enjoy remember that you can add a bit of color to make all the biscuits colorful a splash of fun and make it exciting for them you can also choose to incorporate pieces of fruits or chocolate crumbs into these biscuits just to add some pizzazz to it and make it so fun for the kids and the kids can help out too that's the beautiful part about this recipe so why don't you go ahead and try this if you do try it tag me in the comment section or you can tag me on instagram on facebook show me the pictures and let me know what your kids thought about this recipe and what you of course enjoyed the most about the recipe until i come your way again with another amazing recipe keep it locked on alternative kitchen my name is lisa and from me this is bye